Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to get custom images on a map. So as you can see I have loaded into a fresh world, nothing on here at all. Um, and I'm going to get a map and some item frames. Normally when you load in a map, obviously it will load in the area around you. And obviously everything around here is just super flat. Um, some cool things you can do with custom maps is you can place them down on item frames place them down on item frames and they'll display fully what is on the map. Um, so this would be pretty cool to do with a custom image and that is exactly what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So firstly you're going to want to download a program called Image Map Free. It might be called something different than that by the time this video is out but that's what it's called. I'm not exactly sure it's by but there will be a link in the description for the program. And once you download it you want to unzip this file and inside of that will be imagemap3.exe. So once you've done that, you'll notice you'll get this menu. Now, this also works for Java worlds, but I'm specifically going to be doing it for Bedrock worlds, so I'm going to click Bedrock worlds and open up my test world here that we've just been in. Double click that. Now, once you're here, you'll notice there's a couple of things. You can go to existing maps, and here, oh, yeah, as you can see, I tried to do this earlier before in the tutorial, but the uh, recording failed, so that's that. Um, here is some maps, um, and you can delete them. Delete how many you want here, um, which, I'm, which is what I'm going to do. Um, there we go, delete all of them. So I've got no existing maps at the moment. Um, so I want to create a new map, and I want, I want a custom image here. So I'm going to get you guys a custom image. With this custom image, you can change the scaling to different types of scaling, such as pixel art scaling, by cubic scaling, all that good stuff. Um, you can even rotate the image. I'm not going to be doing that for today's purposes. You can rotate the map anyway, but um, still cool to see. Um, and you can change the width and height, so you can have four maps here to display one image, or you can have far more. I mean, I don't know what the limit to this is, but probably whatever the render distance limit is, but you could have quite literally a 20 by 20 wall of maps with your image on. So it's pretty cool. Uh, but for today, I'm going to keep it quite simple. I am literally just going to do one map. Um, I forgot to mention also you can drag and drop multiple maps in and do multiple images if you'd like to. So I'm just going to click confirm on that. Um, if you want to drag another one, at this point would be the best time to do that. Um, let's see, should I? May as well drag and drop another one. So I want to add Minecraft Vanilla Resource Pack. PNG. So I'm going to have this one that big, four four bits wide. Um, let's go. Let's try try a different scaling, pixel lot scaling. A cubic scaling looks looks all fairly similar. I mean, we'll go we'll go automatic scaling for that. Uh, I'm going to confirm that. So as you can see here, I've got four images of that popping up. Um, my main one. Uh, so that that's just that. I've got no existing maps and whatnot, as you can see. And I'm going to send all of these to a world. And after you've done that, it's done. So now we're going to open up Minecraft, and I'll see you there. So now I'm going to open up this world. You can see it's the same world because we've got this. Now I don't know whether this will still be rendered in because the map is technically deleted. So I don't know if that will still be in the game. No, it's not. Okay, so we've got some some blank map there. Let's see what that renders that. We've got an invisible map. That's a, that's a funny little glitch. That that's quite weird, isn't it? It is very odd. Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, I'm not going to clear my inventory because I've got this chest. So you'll notice there's a new chest in your inventory. I'm going to place this down so I can clear all my items. Um, and in this chest, there is your maps. These are your custom maps. So I'm going to get item frame and some, some blocks. Just use dirt for the time being. And... Alright. Alright, so I'm going to... Go ahead and get all these maps. You can see already here, there's the logo. I'm going to plant that one here. There we go. So I managed to get the image in finally. And as you can see, I've got my logo here and I've got the Minecraft 
the resource pack right here. Uh, so yeah, that's it really for this. And I will make sure to have a link in the description of the program. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you guys on the next one.